Hello and welcome to week number 37 of the 2024 Baking Challenge. Today it's a fast recipe, it's a quick recipe, other than dicing pepperoni, we are making cheesy pepperoni bites. So grab your ingredients and let's bake. One of the things I love about this recipe is that it's a 35 minute from start to finish. I'm really excited about that because it's really late on Friday night and I gotta get these done. <laughs> so it's been a very crazy week here. Um, it, my hair was straight today and now it's not. That's just to tell you. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but we have a new tool in the kitchen. I went ahead and replaced the old mixer. Um, for a whole lot of reasons. And yes, we went with another KitchenAid because I have all of the attachments. So fingers crossed that uh, I got a good one this time and we're gonna find out today. So it's gonna be noisy, the kids playing video games, the cats are jumping at the windows because there's moths and the lights are on and it's a whole big to do. In our bowl, oh, first things first, you're gonna to wanna to preheat your oven, 425 is what we're going for. This is a fast bake, so a higher temperature. In your bowl, you are going to have a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, a fourth a cup of better cheddar cheese powder. I do not have that. I don't have cheese powder. I threw some Parmesan in there, like the nasty, shaky stuff that you put on spaghetti. Hey, don't knock it, I like it. Hopefully it works. Um, you have a teaspoon and a half of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of pizza dough flavor. That's optional, you can get that from King Arthur. I chose not to, I opted out. A teaspoon of King Arthur pizza seasoning. Um, yeah, I didn't get that either. I just kind of made up my own blend. I've got a little bit of everything in here. Anything that I would put in a pizza sauce, minus the tomato, I put in here. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up. Okay. That's half speed. It has a half speed. All right. Well, it's not making funny noises from the get-go, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm already happier with this one than I was with the original. All right, into this, you're going to add four tablespoons of butter cut into pats. Similar to when we do a, a crust for a pie, it's gonna get kind of crumbly. So that's, that's what we're going for here. It just kind of goes right in there. Um, while you are waiting for your dough to get crumbly, you are going to dice a half a cup of pepperoni. You can have regular pepperoni. I have turkey pepperoni. I like the texture of it just a little bit better than regular pepperoni. So I'm gonna kick this up a notch. You have another decision to make too. You can use a mini muffin pan um, I believe a popover pan, oh, like a bite-sized tart pan, a mini muffin pan, or you can scoop these onto a baking sheet, which is what I'm going to do. I'm not getting fancy, and the less dishes I have to worry about tonight, the happier I will be. All right. Almost there with the crumbles. I just have a few bigger chunks left. So far, I'm going to give this mixer a thumbs up. All right, that's looking pretty good. Once that's done, you're gonna add the pepperoni, which is a half a cup of diced pepperoni, <laughs> a whole cup of shredded cheddar cheese, um, also scallions. A fourth a cup of sliced scallions, that's optional. I, again, opted not to. And then you have three fourths of a cup of milk and we're gonna add that in. Go little mixer, go. 
Oh, I like this. It doesn't, doesn't feel like we're getting too much to handle. And that's my dough. It came together very, very fast. Okay, let me clean up this mess and get my uh, cookie sheet and we'll come back and scoop. This is the size scoop that I'm going to use. I'm, I'm not sure what size it actually is, but I'm going with slightly bigger bites here. Definitely not like cookie dough. <laughs> it smells really good. I will tell you the seasoning that I used, um, I used garlic powder, onion powder, Lots of sweet basil, oregano, parsley, um, a little bit of white ground pepper. I'm trying to think what else. Um, yeah, that was it. But it smells good, so I'm, I'm excited about it. This is definitely a weird consistency to be using this scoop with, but I'm here for it. If these things taste as good as they smell, then yes, please. Oh my God, get out of the scoop. Okay. All right, before you put these in the oven, you're gonna wanna sprinkle them with a little bit of your pizza flavoring, your pizza seasoning. You don't have to do this, but it is part of the recipe. So I've got my basil, my oregano, and my garlic in here. I did leave out the other ingredients because I felt like that was overkill. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Next, you're gonna pop these into the oven for about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes until they're golden brown. My oven is almost there, good enough, as far as I'm concerned. Now we wait. One of the neat things about this recipe is that King Arthur says you can make these ahead of time and you can freeze them. What you need to do is you make the dough like we've already done, you line a, a cookie sheet with parchment paper, you spoon your dough out, and then you stick that in the freezer. Um, doesn't say how long, but you know, until it's frozen, then you just drop them in a bag. It'll take a little bit longer to bake because they're being baked frozen, and it says to brush with cream. I don't know, but that's always an option. And I actually might do that because it's late and I'm tired, and I don't wanna make an entire batch of these. Um, at eight o'clock at night. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just freeze the rest of these and I can make them later. <laughs> Mine got a little well done. Um, you know, I had to play with the time a little bit because I did bigger drops, but they smell really good and I'm very excited to try these. So here we go. Mmm. This is really good. Um, wow. <laughs> okay. So I get heartburn easily. I do not eat pizza with red sauce because it's just instant pain. These biscuits, um, these bites taste like pepperoni pizza without the sauce. You could make a dipping sauce. You could dip these in ranch. They're cheesy. They're soft. They've got the, the pepperoni in there. This is a good recipe. I'm a fan. Well, that is it for week number 37. I hope that this super simple recipe was a winner for you. I hope that you hit the subscribe button below because I put out one of these videos every single Saturday morning. You can also follow along on the Facebook page because on Wednesdays, I'm gonna post the ingredient list 
and the name of what we will be baking that weekend. That way you have plenty of time to go shopping and get your ingredients if you wanna participate. I am going to go get some ranch dipping sauce for these and I'm gonna finish these off and then clean up and go to bed. I will see you next week.